What's up, everybody? Welcome to Buzz Worthy TV. And I'm your girl, Lady T. So, I know it's been a minute, but I had to come in here and talk to you guys about what happened Monday night with the Queen's Court. And if y'all don't know, well, I'm here to tell you. So, for you guys who do not know what the Queen's Court is, it is a web show. And I call it a web show because it started off on Facebook, but now it streams on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. They even have a podcast for people who want to catch up on past episodes. So basically, the Queen's Court features T.S. Madison and the rapper Kaya. You know, my neck, my back. Yeah, her. They get together every Monday and they discuss the latest hot topics, okay? And this week, they got a major opportunity because Monique, who as we all know has been in the news because she's calling a boycott for Netflix. And y'all, yes, I definitely wanted to talk about that, but... Monique was doing so doggone much. I felt like I'd be coming on camera every freaking day. Because every day it was something. You know, with her. But anyway, so she decides that she's going to do the Queen's Court. So, Monday night, everybody's tuned in. And first off, the lighting was just really bad. Okay, that was my first observation. Then second, we see T.S. Madison fumbling around, trying to set everything up for the Monique interview. They're trying to get Monique on Skype, but the equipment would not work. Well, while she's trying to get all this together, Kaya is getting frustrated and she's threatening to leave. Well, Monique is on the phone and T.S. Madison begins to cry because she's like, you know, I spent well over two thousand dollars trying to get this new equipment together because i just wanted everything to be right with this interview because mind you guys they've had other interviews other people call in but it hasn't been of this caliber it hasn't been like a substantial celebrity like they've had baby mamas of celebrities call in to give their side of the story where they made the docket or something like that. But this was a major opportunity. And so T.S. Madison wanted everything to be right. And like, again, she bought all this new equipment that did not work. Well, as she's, you know, crying and trying to get this together, Kaya gets up and leave. Okay? Monique was asking her to stay. You know, T.S. Madison was in her feelings. Because she just wanted to do the interview. You know, this has been something that they've been working on. The Queen's Court. You know, something that they built together themselves. And now they had this major opportunity. And she just wanted to do it. And I get it. So, with that being said, I want to talk about Kaya walking off. Because Kaya ended up leaving. And... T.S. Madison tried to do the interview without her, but her and Monique got disconnected again, and after that, it went downhill from there. She tried to call Monique back, didn't get no response. I guess Monique was like, look, I've been gracious, which she was. Monique was very gracious and patient. I will definitely give her that. But I guess she felt like, you know, after waiting around 30 minutes trying to be patient, when they lost the connection for the last time, she was over it. But anyway, I want to talk about Kaya because after all this happened, Kaya, first of all, girl, you was wrong, okay? You was wrong. And let me tell you why you was wrong. You was wrong because you the main one talking about, you know, Maddie not just my business partner, she my friend. Those words came out of your mouth, not anybody else's. So... Why would you leave your friend hanging? You know, you just basically abandon shit, okay? And, you know, she gets all on Instagram because people were coming for her. And basically her thing is, you know, she she took the lenient approach. Instead of saying she said what she said, she's like, I did what I did. 
And she feels as though, you know, did nobody tell her to spend all this money on all this new equipment that she don't know how to work. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I told her that to begin with. And I ain't about to sit up here and be made a fool of. So she left. And I kind of get her point in the fact that, you know, this is not just, you know, T.S. Madison's brand. It's her brand, too. And she didn't want to be made a, you know, made a fool of by looking at professional. And also, I get what she's saying about if it ain't broke, don't fix it. A lot of people have been saying the past couple weeks, they missed the old format when they were just in the living room just laughing. Because it makes it feel like, you know, you're just laughing and talking with your good girlfriend. Okay, but I also get T.S. Madison's point, which is, okay, yeah, I may have wanted everything perfect, and I may have wanted, I may have been a little overzealous, but you left me. We supposed to be in this together, and you left me. And then, number two, it's kind of like, okay, I get what you said. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, but if we're trying to build and grow, we're going to have to do things a little. We're going to have to step our game up. And that's all she was trying to do. So, you know, it just became a big old mess. And I was just like dumb about it. I'm like, we really watching this happen. We really watching this woman walk off. And I'm like. This is going to leave a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth. People that's been watching y'all, um, probably networks and producers who are probably looking at y'all for a show, is probably thinking like, wow, they can't even get it together and stick it out. Because that's what is going to stick out to people, okay? Not the fact that y'all had... This whole thing with technical difficulties. The fact that Kaya walked off and that y'all didn't push through. That says a lot more than the technical difficulties, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? And not only to the fans, but even to people who are looking at you guys for other opportunities. So, I just need y'all to get this together, y'all. So, anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this whole thing with the Queen's Court. Do y'all think that they can recover from this? Do y'all think Kaya was wrong? Or do y'all think she got a point? You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, or do y'all agree with T.S. Madison that, you know, as you grow, you got to step your game up? Anyway, y'all, please let me know what y'all think. Until next time, peace and love.